Hey, this is DD with another cryptocurrency and blockchain update. If this doesn't look like Kosamoy to you, probably because it is not. I am in the amazing city of Bangkok, Thailand, which is the most incredible city I've ever been to. And I haven't traveled to every major city in the world, but when I landed here for the first time when I was traveling eight, nine years ago, when I landed here, when I got off, off the plane or the airport, I'm like, oh my God, this, the energy, the vibe was overwhelming in a good way. I've never felt this energy before. And it's just the energy of Thailand and Bangkok. Um, it's just, it just, it almost knocks you off your feet. It's like, wow, it's just so different than, the, uh, than any Western state you ever go to in the airport that you've probably ever been to. It has a really different vibe. If you've been to Bangkok, if you've been to Thailand, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've never been here, you really have no idea. It's hard for me to explain what it is like. But Bangkok is a really amazing city. Yes, it's running on just a few cylinders, uh, probably five of eight cylinders because of uh, all the scare going on and whatnot. But um, this is still a vibrant city. It's still a fun place to be. Now, I've come here, I came here to have to buy some uh, new gear, some new camera equipment, some, and some new electronic equipment. And I had to buy some, uh, some decent clothes here as well. You know, you live on an island. You know, the, the Koh Samoy Island is really beautiful, but it doesn't have a real economy there. So really the economy there is tourism. Uh, I'm sure you can buy basically anything. You buy computers and all that stuff, but to really, you have to go to, inland. you have to go to quote unquote dry land if you really want to be able to buy what you really want to buy. So I came here uh, to buy some things and um, now I'm just kind of chilling out here and be here for a few more days. I'll head back to the island in a few days and uh, looking forward to making some more beach videos. But somebody, some people said, hey, I'd like to see a little bit of Bangkok. This is just a tiny, 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 tiny sliver of what Bangkok is like. And um, anyways, I've, I found a travel hack about coming here. You know, I'm not really a big city kind of guy, but I look forward to coming here because I, where I stay, I don't need to rent a car. I don't need to drive a motorcycle. I don't need to take taxis. And I don't really, except for a couple days ago, I did hop on the train to go somewhere, but uh, generally every, everything in, that I need is within walking distance. I can walk anywhere and I can buy anything, basically anything I want. I can buy all the clothes I want, I buy all the camera gear, all electronic gear, anything. Anything is all right here within walking distance. Um, if, you've been, if you've been to Bangkok before, you probably recognize uh, where I'm at. Uh, put in the comments below where, where I'm at and what you think about this area I'm at. Um, really fun place. Um, currently, the election. At the time of this video, when you watch this video, you know who knows what's going to happen, but at the time of this recording, the election is still up for grabs. And I posted my Patreon, I said, you know, it doesn't really matter ultimately. We're in the right place at the right time with cryptos because this is our ultimate vote. You know, if you're not an American citizen, you're not, not allowed to vote in the U.S. elections, obviously. And uh, a lot of people are so focused, you know, Canadians and uh, all these other, uh, other countries so focused on the U.S. elections. This is really doesn't matter as much as you think. What really matters is that you're voting for sound money. You're voting for sound money called cryptocurrencies. This is the ultimate and most important vote you could ever make. I promise you that. You want to get into, you want to get into sound money. You want to get rid of, I call it uh, trashy fiat. You want to get out of that fiat trash system, which is designed to keep us poor. It's designed to keep us in debt and it's designed to steal our savings. It's called, it's called stealth inflation. When you're, when your savings loses value two, three, four, five percent every year, they say two or three percent inflation. I know it's a lot higher because they don't count energy, they don't count uh, food costs. So if you don't heat your house or cool your house or if you don't eat, then there's there's only two percent inflation. But that food inflation, energy inflation is a lot higher than two percent. Um, cryptocurrencies helps to pres not only preserve that power, but it helps to increase your purchasing power. It's like being on, uh, it's like a currency on steroids or a currency on nitrous oxide is what it is. So congratulations, if you're into cryptos, congratulate yourself. Don't worry about the outcome too much about these elections. What matters is you've got crypto. If you're holding a lot of crypto, congratulations. If you're thinking about getting into, getting into crypto, don't think any longer. Wait, you know, this bull market is gonna take off. I, you know, I said after the elections, we're, we're gonna really see some, uh, some moves in the market. Well, it's after the elections. Get ready for some big moves. I, I really think we're gonna see some big moves November, December. So we'll, we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, many months ago, I predicted 30,000 Bitcoin end of year. It seems so unlikely, but you know, this whole market can turn on a dime. It can turn in a week, it can turn in a day. So if I'm getting close, if I'm close to 30, you know, that's fine, but I'm, I'm not gonna flip flop and say, oh, you know, I called 30 now. Now I'm not gonna say, oh, it's only gonna hit 21. I'm still gonna stick with 30. Let's see how close I'm gonna get. 
Now, if I'm if I'm close to this, then uh, I'm gonna. Anyways, I'll do more predictions like that. But I'm still sticking with 30,000 uh, Bitcoin end of year. If it goes to 24,000, okay, then I miss it by a little bit. I think we're still gonna be happy. Theta, I still say $20 uh, next year. And uh, Bitcoin Z uh, and Zillica, I think could hit a dollar next year. I think we could 50X our gains within a year with those two coins. I really do. If it only goes 20X, I think you're still gonna be happy, but I think we could see a dollar for either one of those. Zillica staking, what a gem that is. You know, I talked about Zillica in my last video. What a gem Zill is, is because we're getting now currently 25% uh, interest uh, ROI on our uh, staking our Zillica. Now, what bank is gonna compete with that? No bank's gonna compete 25%, none of them. And you're staking, you're able to stake it with, by holding onto your own private keys, by keeping Zillica within, your, uh, within the Moonlit wallet, it's Moonlet, M-O-O-N-L-E-T dot I-O, I believe. That's a mobile wallet. You can stake uh, now 25%. You can stake it in the Atomic wallet. You can stake it in the Atomic uh, mobile wallet or the desktop wallet now. So that's, uh, that's live all across for Atomic. Again, about 25% yield. Fantastic. This is actually, with all the price manipulation, with all the wells buying and, and selling, dumping, buying, and all this other stuff, I'm making cryptos do this. The, the way to counter that is to start buying cryptos and stake them, like Zillica, like Cardano, like Theta, soon Ethereum, um, there's uh, Tezos, Cosmos. This is how you counter the well manipulation. This is really the ultimate secret in crypto investing. You don't swing trade. Well, you can if you want, if you know, five, only 5% 5 actually do really well consistently. The other 90, 95%, they end up losing money over time. They won't tell you that. If you're good at swing trading and good at uh, day trading and you're really good at it, stick with it. Most of us, the best way is just to just to cost average in, buy the staking cryptos and just sit on them. We're going to see price pressure. We're going to see price pressure. We're going to see the prices go up because we're going to we're taking these these cryptos off the market and we're holding on. We're holding this these cryptos in our own wallet. We're keeping them, or maybe you have them somewhere else. Maybe Caleb or Brown or wherever else. That's fine. But we're taking them we're taking them off the market now eventually we're going to see price pressure it's really going to go up so just the more zilliqa and anything else that's being staked the more we see these uh, cryptos being staked we're going to see price pressure again back to zilliqa the more people that stake zilliqa for example the uh the lower the the yield gets but we still win because we're taking the supply off the chain we're taking the inventory we're, we're taking the supply out of the inventory so we win either way. We lose, we lose a little bit. It was 29% to stake Zillica. Now it's 25%. But there's, that just means there's more people staking Zillica. We win. This is called a win-win with, with cryptos. Okay? I don't know what this guy's doing here. Okay. Selling some, uh, selling something. You know, I love Thailand. You got these vendors that drive by. Uh, this, this guy's on a pickup truck. You see him on a motorcycle or whatever. And they're peddling brooms and and uh and fruit and vegetables i just love it i love the energy here and i love the entrepreneurial spirit here in thailand every every thai person essentially is an entrepreneur you know if they if they work a full-time job they're also selling something on the side it reminds me of my early days selling at the flea market and um that's called this is called true entrepreneurship direct selling okay all right anyways i'm enjoying thailand I'm enjoying Bangkok, I'm gonna be here for a few more days. Uh, I've got all my stuff uh, essentially taken care of. I've got a little bit, a couple more things to buy actually, but I'm, I've got 90% of my shopping done here. And um, that's it guys. Buy your cryptos, don't worry about the elections too much. I know you, everybody's following it right now. And maybe by the time you see this video, uh, the, the, uh, we're, we're gonna have a deciding factor, you know, who's gonna be president of the United States. Guys, the ultimate, you have create, there's no monetary reform talked about by any candidate. Create your own monetary reform. Buy cryptos. Buy a little bit of gold and silver as well. This is my this is my DD tips for the day. And this is not investment advice. Cryptos can go down in value. Gold and silver can go down in value. But just hedge your bets. And um, it's DD. I'll see you in the next video.